It is almost lunchtime, 12 p.m. on the 16th of August, 2019. I just wanted to say a few words. I've not thought about them. It's just literally going to come out. Today is the day that Don Lewis will be officially put to rest, I believe, at 3 p.m. I've been blessed to have been a patient of Don's for more than half my life, for at least 23 plus years. I'm completely and utterly heartbroken and grieving, but also I can't help but smile at the same time, because I'm so, I've got so much pride and love for this man, how can you not smile, how can you not cry? If I didn't have this illness, I have, would never have met him. Of course, none of us would want this on anyone, no matter the degree that you have it. But I feel so blessed. <sighs> I'm aching so bad in my throat and a heart, totally heartbroken. So thankful to have had him care for me, to have gotten to know him, to be surrounded by his presence. I have known he's been sick for a very long time. Never once complained, even when he was starting to have more operations and you could see you could see that he was starting to lose a bit of memory and slow down. Never once complained. He just, you were the centre of his attention. He cared only about you. Yesterday, I had an appointment. And I've been blessed. I feel as if Don, in some way, and God, sent me to this doctor. His personality is so much like Don. Of course, no one could ever be him. The first time that I sat down with this new doctor, with my mother, he said the exact words that Don said to me the very first time I sat down in Dr. Lewis's office. My mum and I couldn't believe it. I wish I had the chance to tell Don that I found a, a really, really good hearted doctor and that even though he, he was only just learning, he had the same enthusiasm as you, wanted to learn and bedside manner 
and smile. I mean, it could never be you. You're irreplaceable. But I wish I could have told you that because I know you tried for so many years to train doctors so CFS discovery would continue after you retired for us. So I wanted to tell you that. I really, really, my heart goes out to the family, his wife, kids, grown kids, grandkids, all family, close friends, and patience, because we weren't just patients to him, and he wasn't just a doctor to most of us. I can't explain how I felt the moment that I sat down the very first time in his office. I had been going to Forest Hill Medical Clinic since the day I was basically born. My entire dad's side of the family, I mean, that's where they go. <laughs> I mean, my husband even now goes there. So I knew him, of him, but when I sat down, after so many years of everyone knowing I was sick but didn't know what I was sick of, and finally being able to sit down and have him, he literally didn't sit behind his desk. He got his chair and he popped it slightly in front of me to the side. And he looked straight into my eyes and he said, it's going to be okay. I've got you. We're going to work as a team. I've got you. And then he rubbed my back. And at that moment, it was like, <sighs> it didn't matter what happened from then on. I knew that I had someone in the medical field that didn't just treat the illness, but was going to treat my entire being, it was at that moment that I felt safe. I didn't feel afraid anymore. It, his, the concern in his eyes, the compassion, the rubbing of the back, it just felt like like when you've had your heart broken for the first time or you've gotten really, really ill and all you want, no matter how old you are, is your mum. It was like that. I got to know him and he's... Every time you'd see him, that smile that he'd have on his face, the recognition, he knew you, you weren't just a number. You were a person that he knew. And he cared about every single one of us. That compassion when you're at your worst and he wanted to help and he could see it in his face in everything you did. He was so gentle, so gentle. He would wheel me in even when he just had surgery. He would take over the wheelchair 
for my mom, such a gentleman, and wheel me into the room. His hugs. Hugs. The hugs were medicine. His smile was medicine. I remember many times he would say to me, and you could tell on his face he was very very upset. And, you know, he was honest. I loved that about him. And he'd say, I'm so sorry, Belinda, there's not much I can do for you. And he didn't realise that that was okay because I felt safe and I knew no matter what happened, I had him. And I don't know how I can convey or could convey that at that time or even now. I only, I didn't, of course it's upsetting, but just having him, I was so I felt comfortable, I felt, I felt protected, and he was so sad. He was my medicine. And when he said to me, trust me, Belinda, if I ever find anything that remotely, that I remotely think would help you, you will be the first to know. And he didn't have to tell me that. I knew. I trusted in him. I, I really don't think he realised how much he touched me and how much he comforted me and that even though there wasn't a lot that he was able to do, that his presence, his voice the many times that I had to do it over the telephone the appointments his face his smile everything about him his presence was enough I'm smiling because he had that beautiful smile when you met him, that acknowledgement, you know, I've got you, you need him. That uh, concern look in his face that he always had especially if you weren't doing as well. The smile when he saw you improving. The pride. (laughs) The cheeky laugh and the (laughs) humour. His gentleness, he was so gentle, caring. And something I loved so much was watching him when he'd get so excited. You guys would understand you've paid the patience when he'd get so excited about research that he's done or something that he discovered and he was explaining it like a little kid over a candy bar. That was I will always remember those things. I was and am so blessed to have him in my life, to have him care for me. There will never be another Don. And I'm so proud of him for winning that award, which he should have won years ago. And many, many more. 
I'm so proud that even now, that after he's passed, he literally continues to live on, literally, in his research, in everyone's heart, in our memories. And that's, I mean, his family must be so proud of him because I'm so proud. I'm so heartbroken. But I'm so proud of him. And I really wished that he was able to retire and enjoy his time. so proud of his family and my heart goes out to all his family and to all you patients because I know it's so I don't know if strange is the word but it's he wasn't just a doctor I don't think to any of us and we all knew that he was sick but a lot of us are still in shock. But he will live on, seriously, I feel it, forever in his research and in our hearts and our memories. And I just want to address him because I feel that he's around. Don, Dr Don Lewis. You always felt like, with my case, sad, sad at times, and frustrated. But the thing is, I don't think you really realise that you are enough. You're always enough. From the moment I sat in your room for the first time, to the last time I saw you. And if I'd known, I saw how ill you were. But I was only going to see you in like two weeks' time. If I'd known, I would have given you the pick of the dark. And I don't think any words could have described, even now they're not describing, how much I love you. And how blessed I feel to have known you and for everything you've done for me. And I know you think, you would think you haven't done much. But trust me, you have. And my family. I will never, ever forget you. And I will love you for always. And I'm so proud of you. You're my guardian angel and your work will continue. And I really hope I get to see that beautiful face again and to be surrounded by your presence. Today, oh, sorry guys, at 3 p.m. I decided I'm going to light a candle. I'm going to lay here and meditate on him, on everything that he gave me and others, all the goodness and all the love. It's the only thing I'm able to do, but I feel it's something that I know you would appreciate it. And I will also be sending out positive energy and love to his family and every single one of his patients, anyone that he touched. He's definitely a guardian angel. He was on earth and he definitely will be in heaven. Not much else I can say. Words can't explain how I feel. They're not coming close. 
simply, I have been blessed. I love you and I appreciate you and I will miss you but will celebrate your life and remember you always fondly and with love. Dr. Don Lewis. God bless you.